Hey, welcome to Beyond the Music with Zeke Martin. That'd be me, and I'm sitting with a really good friend of mine for, oh my God, lots of years. Yeah. Uh, the one and only Mr. Daniel Day. Yay! Ooh. So uh, Daniel Day is a uh, famous bass player oh. <laughs> uh, in and around the world, and Massachusetts, and... Um, but uh, you know he plays bass, and uh, but he does some other stuff. You do other stuff. You refurbish. Yeah, yeah. You refurbish yeah. just about everything, right? Yeah. I'm I mean, like, we're talking about like everything. I'm like, yeah. I'm like a recycle, upcycle, reuse, <laughs> reuse, reuse. You know, kind of, kind of guy. You know. Okay. I'm like a lot. Yeah, I'm into a lot of different things. Okay. I just, so. Yeah, no. Like, well, no, what, what, how did it, like, all get started? Well, you, you, know, you know, it's funny because, I, I mean, I have to go back. I mean, it, it really started. I remember as a kid, um, my grandmother, I used to help my grandmother okay. fix stuff. Okay. You know, my grandmother was in the Depression, you know. Uh -huh. So that generation, they, they, they sort of, like, fixed everything. You know, just throw shit out. Right. Fix it. And not only that, stuff they made back in the day was a lot better quality. Right. But anyway, so, so I would help her, and she was like, no, measure it like this, cut like this. So... That kind of, I didn't really think much much about it, right. but I also think I was always sort of creative. Gotcha. You know, um, I started making like um, jewelry. Oh, really? And okay. Like, <clears throat> I like, you know, um, tan, all of that, man. You know, wow. just like, yeah, you, you know, play around with beads and, and, and copper wire and yeah. stuff like that. Um, I would, um, I remember building my first stereo cabinet really out of an old dresser really <laughs> wow you know what i mean get out of and, here and and, and 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 yeah and just how old were you when you did that do you remember god man i was young man 12 13, really yeah and i was playing with my legos at 12. you know <laughs> yeah man i remember like you know um oh man this is a funny story right i was like probably around that same age maybe a little younger I wanted to make my mother an extension cord. Okay. For you know, for, you know, because the washing machine was in a different room and okay. there was no outlet, so you know. So she was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah," and I'm like, "Okay, I'll make you one." So I got some electrical wire and the sockets and everything. Okay. I'll cut a piece of wood. I, you know. Wow. Oh, okay. So and then I had to test it, right? Oh Lord. Yes, that's exactly what happened. I got zapped. <laughs> <laughs> I got zapped, man. Oh, man. You know, thinking of, I mean, it scared the shit out of me. There was, there was something about it that felt kind of good, though. Like, right. Like, you know? Okay. Like, oh, shit. You got oh, energy. Oh. All right. You <laughs> right, got the energy. Right, right. Surge of energy, you know? And so, um, yeah, I built, I, I built a guitar. I used to try and build a guitar. Yeah. You know, just lots of different things, but not really thinking much, much of it. Gotcha. You just do it, man. Yeah. And I, started, and, I, and I started playing seriously. I fell in, I sort of fell in the back burner. But then I was fixing bikes. Right. You know, uh, motorcycles. Okay. You know, you, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I live next to a garage. Oh, okay. So, you know, so I would help out. And then, you know, you make sense. stuff. Right. So, right. oh, man. And then, um, yeah, like a couple of years ago, Ago, I started working with this guy doing construction. Okay. You know, um, and you know, I picked up quite a few skills. Right. And so I, that that sort of led me into like you know doing little things here and there. And um, for some reason, I was I, I saw this lamp. Okay. It was a lamp that I saw around well, at least ten years ago. And for some reason, the lamp you know was speaking to me. You know, right. and I, I saw it at Goodwill. And I did, you know, I looked at it and I was like, yeah, it's a nice lamp. I came back a couple days later. Oh, the lamp's still there. Right. And um, so the third time, I was like, you know what? I'm buying this freaking lamp. Because it right. just, it's just like, it, it keeps, it's it, talking to me, man. Right, right. It, it's you know? like, come buy me. Come buy yeah, me. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah. It's like nobody else is, so, so why don't you? So I started on this whole lamp thing. So that's okay. where I really started, like, with restoring. So what I would do, I would pick up these lamps. And mainly a particular style from a particular era. Okay. And I think a lot of it has to do with the furniture my mother, my mother had. Gotcha. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. modern, Danish modern, that type of stuff. Gotcha. Okay. And then I started buying lampshades. Mm -hmm. You know, mixing and matching like lampshade and lamp. And okay. Just, just started doing all kinds of stuff. 
and I need to sit down really and, and, and make like a portfolio. Right, right. You know, so that got me in. And then I started doing furniture, you know, tables. I mean, right. that's the, you know, that, I mean, the, the stool, just like, right. and I started, I just went, you know, okay. like a little crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing shit, building stuff. And, um, I mean, you know, I fixed everything in this place, like yeah. the painting, just, just name it. Right. Um, and as you know, right. I am also a lover of shoes. Yes. <laughs> yes. We have that in common. Most right. definitely. That's right. Yes. So that's, that's, that's the other thing, man. I'm like, I love the idea. I love, you know, just that process of taking something and then restoring it and, and, but retaining its character and mm -hmm. its personality and, and you know, so I do a lot giving of, it life again. Giving it life again. Yeah, yeah, man. And so because of my interest, you know, I started going to thrift stores, gotcha. sales, and, yeah. you know, and I picked up quite a bit of stuff, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, you know, I see something and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I can do this or I can do that. Right. And this is so cheap. Oh, uh, you know, you just buy it, but that's also a trap because you only have so much time. Right, exactly. To like work on stuff. You know? right. And um, so a couple summers ago, man, I filled up bags and bags of stuff. And I was like, like, I just won't have time to do too much. Right. Oh, that's too bad. You know, yeah, I mean, hey, it is what it is. Right. You know? um, because, I mean, music's still first. Of course, of course. Well, hey, you know, that, that's what's, you know, that's the main thing yeah, that puts exactly, exactly. food on the table. Oh, yeah, you know? oh, yeah. Until this starts picking up. Well, there you go. There you go. I mean, people have been talking to me about, um, um, you know, a little plug here. <laughs> um, shoes, man. I polish mm -hmm. shoes. Yeah, I, I have a pair. Yep, you know, I can give you a, a, a regular shine, a high shine, mm -hmm. or a mirror shine. Yeah. You know, um, so if anybody that's listening to this podcast, <laughs> in, you know, in the Boston area wants to drop off a pair of shoes, yeah. leather shoes. You want to re-dive, I mean, whatever, right. man, you know, yeah. um, I can book it up. There you go. Hi. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, oh, God, man. Now, is that your favorite thing to do? I mean, I know for a minute you got me um, uh, a record player. Yes. Oh, oh see, see? So, um, so yeah. And uh, I know that for a while you were really into doing that, because I know you have a huge record collection. I know you're a big yeah. vinyl guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, I know you kind of start doing like record players and stuff like yep. that. Did that yep. kind of more fall towards the wayside well, when I other stuff sort, came? Well, kind of sort, okay. yeah. You know, I mean, uh, what happened, you know, as, as I wasn't gigging as much, so I had more time. Mm -hmm. I always tell people I have more time than I have money. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. time has to work for me. So I was doing a lot more stuff. And, you know, as, as, as work picked up, you know, some days I'm like, I'm just going to chill, man. Right. <laughs> because, right. Know, oh, of course, yeah. you're tired. And uh, but as far as turntables, man, uh, I have like a pile of like five or six. Wow. That need some work. That needs yeah. to be fixed. You know, and I'm gonna fix them because I know people that want them. Right. You know, I'm gonna fix them. I'm definitely gonna fix them this summer. I got a few, couple of pieces of furniture, like a couple of end tables, coffee tables. Gotcha. That I'm gonna do. But yeah, records, man. That's a whole other thing. Yeah. Um, dude, man. Thrift stores have been really good to me. <laughs> but I'm also the type, you know, that, you know, when I do something, mm -hmm. I do it. Right. I don't like half don't stepping. Half, right, you halfway, know, yeah. I'm like, no, do You go all in. Yeah, I go all in. Yeah, you go all in. You know? Yeah. Um, and then sometimes after a while, I'm like, dude, man, chill. Just right. slow down. Now you, know you got to take a break. Right. But yeah, turntables, man. Uh, always, always fix them up. You know, um, man, stereos, period. Right. Well, that co that kind of goes back to like you know what you the story that you were talking about, you know when you were twelve and you made your first stereo cabinet, yes, you know exactly, what I mean? exactly. And then also doing the electrical stuff yeah, for your mom, yes, yes, like that kind of culminated. Yeah, 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 so, so I think a lot yeah, of, you yeah. know a lot of stuff is just from the childhood. Yeah, just, yeah. You know, Oh man, this is cool. Yeah, yeah. My first, I remember like, um, my mother had this old Philips tube radio. Okay. You know, yeah, the big one. Yeah, 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 the yeah. big ones, right? The like wood paneling on yeah, the side yeah, or yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And I remember being mesmerized by the sound. Yeah. That sounded so warm. Yeah. You know. Um, so now, um, 
I have a stereo upstairs. Okay. That's all tubes. Wow. Okay. Oh, nice. You know, two mono amps, you know, yeah. all tubes, man. I have a, a tube of, of, of um, preamp from the turntable. Okay. You know, it just, it just, it's just a different sound. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and I, you know, like you said, a lot of it goes back to childhood, man. Yeah. You know, I think because of, when I grew up, um, I'm very, um, I'm very much into like good quality. Right. Yeah. You know, I'd rather spend the extra the money. money once. Yeah, the extra yeah. money to get something good. Yeah. As opposed to like you know buying it, spending like cheap, you know, and then have to replace it or that kind of thing. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, I've also I've also always been into um, sort of like interior decorating. Okay. Check this out, man. Uh oh. This he's like, pulling out his phone. No, 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 no. Okay. I thought he was going to show you pictures. I remember. Oh man, I don't remember how old I was, but I remember designing my own house. Really? Okay. You know, kind of like you know, like yeah. architect, like yeah, you know, architect, yeah, 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 blueprint, yeah, blueprint, yeah, yeah. I remember that, man. Wow. So I was always into spatial organization. Yeah. And I think that's it's also kind of served me well in mm -hmm. music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's really what it is. Right. You know, how do you organize the time, the space, space. And, and, and that kind of right. thing. But yeah, I'm into decorating, man. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, that's cool. And, and um, since I, you know, skills I picked up from doing construction. Right. Came in real handy. Yeah, I'm sure. You know, yeah, and I, sure. I still get paint jobs. Yeah, okay. I still get paint jobs. As a matter of fact, not just paint jobs, a couple of weeks ago, I installed a toilet for somebody. Wow, okay. Wow. <laughs> you, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, so it's a combination of like, you know, uh, uh, plumber slash yeah, yeah, handyman, 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 handyman type stuff. Yeah, like oh, old yeah. fashioned yeah, handyman. Exa exactly. Yeah. Because I think, you know, I think uh, not these skills aren't necessarily lost. There are less people mm -hmm. that are willing to these types of or learn these types of skills. Right. Because they kind of think, you know, it's blue collar. Yeah. Everybody thinks you gotta be white collar or above. You know, it's right, like, right, right. Nah, man, people need to ship, people need to eat, people yeah. need the space to live in. Right. All that yeah. stuff. You know, right. farmers. Of course. Right. You know, my, my folks were farmers. Okay. My folks were farmers. So that you know it's a good segue into right, the right, next right. part. Exactly. Um I learned how to cook. Okay. And um I love cooking. Yeah, yeah. So and being my mother's child, I always experiment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, to me, to me, cooking is like a combination. It's it's kind of like music. Cooking is a combination of art, yeah, imagination, right, and science, yeah, chemistry. Yeah. yeah. You heat something up. You add this. Right. You, you know, and but as far as flavors and and the way it looks, it's imagination. Right. Some stuff you, works. Some stuff doesn't. You, you, yeah. know, you know what I'm of saying? Of course. Yeah. So, yeah. And you gotta try. And it's all trial and error. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I learned that from my from my uh, from my dad. To, yeah. You know, both my father and my dad both you know both cooked there like crazy. It's, it's, and I was like, I remember thing, when man. I was young, I was like, how how do you know what to, it's like? Right. Trial and error. Right. You know, some things, stuff yeah, is yeah. gonna work. Some yes, stuff is exactly. gonna be disgusting. disgusting you know, and like, then you know, not to, again. right? Exactly. <laughs> I'm never doing that again. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 No, man. I just. I just. My mother would like my mother would you know like buy something right mm -hmm. and sort of like reverse engineer it. Okay. Kind of like open sense. it up and, and look what's in it, how this and then she's like, okay, so okay, if they got it like this, that means they did such and such and such. Right. You know, right. she's like, hmm, I'm gonna try it like this. Right. So, I mean, you know, man, the kitchen, yeah. man. Right. I was always in my mother's kitchen. Yeah. And the funny thing is, she never actually showed me like Daniel, come here, let me show you. Right. You pick it up, right? Just from yep. being in the space, right? And you know, she's like, "Hey, come on, you know, stir this or mix this or," right. and you know, when she baked, man, we always had to bake. Of course, you know, yeah. My, my nephew and I would fight over the oh my <laughs> all the time. What the hell is salmonella? That doesn't even exist when we were kids. No. Like what? You know, no man. Yeah, just take that big finger. Yes, that's right, yeah, that's right. That big oh. finger. Yep, that's right. <laughs> I remember when. Uh, 
my uh, my dad would make uh, banana bread. Uh huh. Oh yeah. And so uh -huh. you know, you got the leftover. Yeah. It's like you know, he he'd get the spatula and he was really tedious. Like he'd like he make looked, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like. Crap, there's well, nothing really to like. <laughs> I'm like, there's, right. there's nothing right. to bring it, but yep. you know, then my mom would ma might make brownies and there'd be like a good chunk where I can just like finger it. I'm like, oh, it's so good. You know. So, you know, my mom, you know, she was a, she was a, she was an entrepreneur, you know? So mm -hmm. she would actually bake for people. Okay. She would bake for people. So, you know, it was like so for adults, for some some of some of the cakes, she would put a little brandy or something. Right. <laughs> right, right, right. I mean like Oh, this is good. Right, right. <laughs> it was a trip, man. Yeah. It was a trip. Oh, man. This is like, you know, yeah. I enjoy it. Yeah. I enjoy, like, you know, looking at, I enjoy potential. Right. You know? Um, so between the the furniture, the lamps, the turntables, the shoes, is there any of, any particular one that you like best? Like, where it's like, man, I love doing all of them but this is like this is my this is my shit right here huh i mean at some point it, it was definitely furniture man yeah you know but right now right now it's shoes yeah okay yeah. right now it's it's shoes like yeah you can that's like that's the you thing can, you know, oh man i can sit down and just like it's like okay okay let's just go it's, it, you, right. you know just that process of like i mean the whole thing cleaning it like you know, I'm, I'm sure the last pair I actually. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, y'all can't see it, but you can. So I wish I was showing. But like, I think there's there's definitely. Um, I th I think I, and I think I know why. Oh wow, those are nice. Those nice, are nice, right? Yeah. But, but kind of brownish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay. They, they were dried up. Like, okay. You know, that and the what size of, is that? That's an eight. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, it doesn't yeah. work for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah. And what size are those? This is the same shoe. Uh, uh, oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, that's before. before and that's after. after. Yes. Wow, that's huge, man. Okay. Yeah, wow, man. that's amazing. Yeah, man. That's you amazing. Know what? I should go upstairs and bring down some shoes. See uh, uh, yeah. No, for real. Because I mean, I mean, I can, I can only, you know, hold on to so many shoes. Right. I got so many shoes. I don't even think I'm allowed to have more shoes. I got so many shoes. Yeah, it's yeah, ridiculous. So, okay, I'll, you know, I'll talk, <laughs> I'll talk to Leon. Cause he's another one. I know exactly. Leon, so exactly. Oh, you know what? You, you're a little bigger than me, right? Just a little, not yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Slim down a bit. Yeah, yeah. No, because <laughs> because I actually tried all those. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll get the jacks and then we'll see. Okay. The blazers, because I think because actually I put them on. And I was like, oh, these fit like nice. But we'll okay. see. Yeah. yeah. No, I uh, was just thinking about the shoe thing. I was like, that's. I, I can kind of see why. The shoes might be more um, zen. Okay. Okay. Because it's yep. kind of like it's a little bit more meditation. Yes. Yes. We're like when you're building when you're building something, it's like you really got to be. I Correct. mean, not that you don't have to be really into it when you're doing the shoes, but you really got to be really precise yes. and yes. on because yes. you know the the rule of thumb, right? Measure twice, Measure cut twice, once. Cut once. Right, right. Exactly. Right. So, but with the shoes, there's, cause I mean, I polish my shoes it's, and I just, it's, it's and my, very, my father used to sit there man. extremely. It's just yes. like, and I just, and you just sit there and you polish them and sometimes you polish a little too much, yeah, but, know, right? yeah, yeah, but yeah. still it's like, it's very meditational. Well, you know, for I, sure. you know, I, can, I can get obsessive about it too. Right. You right. know, like yeah. it's like a little scratch. Oh no, I got to do that again. Right, right. You, you, you know, right. but yeah, definitely. It's definitely more sad. Yeah. You know, you're sure. in that space and you just like, you get into a groove, right? Yeah. And it's just like, yeah, that makes yeah. a lot of sense. Somebody actually, asked, somebody else described it as meditative to me. It's like, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. But yeah, man, I'm into magic, man. Yeah, just rebuilding stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, great. It was, and, 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 and I think it's more from a <clears throat> creative angle. Right. Than, 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 than practical. Right. Of course. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, like, God, man, like this. Yeah, it's a great lamp, dude. I'm telling you, man. Thrift stores, brother. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And 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 I won't tell my secrets, but um, there are ways of, of of acquiring things at an even better price. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. But anyway, so this is like a European. It's a European lamp. Oh, okay. So the, you know, electrical. You know, the plug is a Euro plug. Oh. Two, you know, the two the, the two yeah, round right, right. All right. So it stood in the store, and you know this, you know the attachment for the shade and everything. So right. it's a Euro, European, right? 
So it actually was a sore for days because people looked at it not realizing all you need to get is an adapter. Right. That's it. And and this lamp is solid. Yeah. It's solid. Wow. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's made so well. It's good I quality. Had, yeah. I had a shade. Yeah. I actually tried a different one first and it was all right. And then I tried this one. Actually, a friend of mine suggested that I tried this one. And then I was like, well, there it is. That's great. So this lamp, and so I ended up looking it up. Something similar. Yeah. You know, it's like four or five hundred euros. Wow. Especially now, it's pretty even, so that's basically four or five hundred bucks. I spent <laughs> a total of less than twenty five dollars. Yeah. Yeah. People do this all the time, and they and then they they re, they refurbish stuff and they throw it online and uh, yeah, man. that's how they make their living. See that lamp over there? Yeah, yeah. That's um that's a company uh, that was around in the sixties. Okay. Um. It was a combination thing. It was Italian and, and somebody else, an American. They had like, you know, it was an American company, but they hired some Italian designers. Okay. So that was one of their designs. Okay. This lamp on the market right now, um, probably like a grand. Wow. Okay. Mid-century yeah. modern. Yeah, yeah. That's like, and I now got, just, have you ever thought of like kind of doing that? Like kind of not necessarily making a website, but like. Kind of getting out there. I, I know your footprint's small, but like you know, you know, getting on Craigslist or as opposed to just word of mouth. Do you know oh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've done stuff on Craigslist. I, 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 I purchased a dresser. And um, well, I'm talking about you selling. Stuff. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to show you. I purchased a dresser, right? Yeah. I got it at Goodwill. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, it was. Okay. It's pretty beat up. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty beat up. You know, but then I redid it. I redid it, and when I was done with it, it looked like this. Oh wow! Yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. So yeah, so you know, um, I paid twenty dollars for it. Yeah. Um, it's really not that much work in terms of in terms of the actual hours spend on because you know you sand it, right? And then you do, and then you just wait, right? You know, you, you know, you, you put a coat on it. You let it dry. You sand right. it for another coat. Right. You know, so in terms of hours spent on it, not that many. Right. Um, but I sold it for, I, I paid $20 for it. I sold it for $300. Wow. Yeah. That's great. So, so you know, it's it's doable. It's yeah. doable. My issue is, um, you know, the minute it becomes work, mm. you know, um, at least right now. Yeah. Um, at some point, I may actually do a little more. Um, pursue it more, you know, more actively. Yeah. But right now, um, hey, look, if, you know, if the music thing doesn't work out, well, yeah, <laughs> you, know, you, know, you, know, I, you know what I mean. Was, and that's why I started doing construction because yeah, work was gigs were like slow. I mean, right. I, at one point I had, uh, I was, you know, I was in a place in my life where shit was just jacked up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. Uh huh. And um, so I kind of stopped playing for a minute. Yeah. And then you know how it is. People don't rock anymore. Right. Well, you know. Yeah. Um, and out of mind. Out of, Everett, out of sight. Out of mind. Like, you know. Yeah. I moved to Everett. And, uh -huh. yeah, you know. Um, but then when I moved back to Boston, that's when I started doing construction. Yeah. So I need to. I, I need. I need. It, I gotta eat. Right. I need, you, right. Know, you know. Uh, and then slowly, um, which is kind of a funny story. We're not gonna talk music, but I got back into it like. At this place in JP Costello's, on, mm -hmm. on, on, yep, okay. we had a jam session. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know, remember Mo Tall Brother? Moose maybe, Ryan, yeah, Moose maybe, Singer. yeah. He had a weekly jam session. Okay. And I know the bass player. We had, you know, we went to Berkeley together, and so I would go and hang out, you know, because right. we after work and go and drink. Right, right, of course, yeah, especially in construction. You, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, so one day he was like, "Damn, man, you want to sit in?" I was like, "Nah, nah, nah." You right. know. And then once I was okay, I'll sit in. Yeah. So in the following week, I came back and we sat down, a couple of songs, a couple more songs. So one of he called, he's like, hey, listen, man, I can't do this gig next week. Uh, can right. you do it? Right. I was like, at first I was like, I'm trying to get a freaking gig. Right. You know what I mean? But then I was like, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. And it's sort of like, because, you know, the guy I was working with, he kept the courage. He's like, man, come on, bring your bass, man. Go and play, you know. Right, right, right. Like, I'm good, man. So that's how I started playing again. Gotcha. And okay. Then, and then, you know, sort of got back to the right, scene. Right, right, right. Yeah. 
But yeah, man, I'm, all yeah. this stuff, all this yeah. stuff, dude. Like, cool. when I bought, you know, this is like a nice little rack. It was just, I think it was brown mm -hmm. and, and, you know, some gold, whatever. Gold I stripped plating. it down black and silver. Yeah. Oh. You know. Um, but you have another love. Hmm? You have another love, which might take like an hour long talking about, which is your love of vinyl. <laughs> so, uh, you started getting back into vinyl because I know you it kind of like mm -hmm. was away for a bit, but then what made you get back into you vinyl? Oh man, it's a funny story, dude. So, because you have a lot of records, do you know about how many, like what your collection is? Uh, no, I can't say. Okay. I have an idea. Yeah, I have an idea, but yeah. uh, <laughs> it's. Too many. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> um, and you know, I gotta fend the herd, man. It's just duplicate thing, you know. Right. Um, I think we'll have a yard sale after this this, this, uh, this spring. Gotcha. Okay. Sell some records because people are still buying records. We right. Get pretty good shape. Anyway, so yeah, so um, where do we start? What was the first record that you like? Said okay, I'm I need this. No, it wasn't even that. Check okay. Check this out. Check this out. Um, I had this old. Uh, no, you know, at some point, every you know, um, everybody jumps on the you know wants the new shit, right? Right, right. So yeah, I got like the Sony, mm -hmm. you know, the, those black, you know, those black big ones with mm -hmm. like you know. So the sound was all right with these and that, with these new speakers and everything. <coughs> and um, then I had an old Morant. I found it basement one of the buildings I was living in okay. and this guy had given me another one so the brands didn't work but then the little one worked and then when I started programming when I was living in Back Bay I used that you know mm -hmm. uh, as my amplifier right gotcha. and I moved to Everett took it with me right. didn't really use it it was just sitting there and moved back to Boston took it with me again right so one day I'm like playing something on, you know, my new Sony, whatever, right. and shit just died. Wow. And I'm like, oh man, that sucks. Right, right. You know, I'm like, oh man. I mean, I ain't trying to spend like a couple hundred dollars to buy a new app. Right. You know, and I hadn't really looked in like repair shops, that type right. of thing, you know, so I was like, then all of a sudden I was like, oh, hold on. I had this old beat up looking Pioneer. Right. That sounded all right. It up and look in the basement. Oh my god, I was like, okay, I turn, it turned on. I was like, oh, cool, and I plugged it in. <laughs> and you got a shock like you did back in the day. <laughs> I know, right? That would have been, that would have been, that would have been, you know, full circle. full circle, right? <laughs> so, so then, you know, so I hook up the speakers and I put a plug in my CD player. Mm -hmm. And so I got playing the CD. See, in that moment, mm -hmm. the sound that hit me mm -hmm. was like, dude, man, this is the sound. Right. Even though it's a cheap, you know, by you know right. the standards, you know, it was it was like, you know, a pretty <clears throat> low on, on on the food chain model. Right. But it had that sound, the yeah. warmth, the richness, the fullness. And that's yeah. when I realized that that Sony crap yeah. is something. Thin, right, right. sterile, okay. you know, and I was like, "Oh shoot!" So that's when I was like, "That's crazy." So I started playing other CDs and listening to the sound. I was like, "That's why I didn't like freaking CDs." Right, right. It sounded cold and thinny, and, and you just didn't so, have the right system. Well, exactly, yeah. exactly. So then um, I told um, I don't know if you met my friend Roberta mm -hmm. in the room. She was at the bar. Okay, the lady, short yeah. hair, gray. So she was like, I told her, I was like, so she's like, oh, really? She's like, you know what? Um, I got a turntable, like, put away. And, and, and I remember having some albums. Right. Even though I didn't have a turntable, I still had a couple of records, right? right? From, uh, Caldera, Bluford, you right. know? Right. So she was like, y you want it? I'm like, yeah, sure. I'll, you know? Right. And then, um, and I think that's when I started with fixing turntables. Because once you came, you know, the platter um, was, uh, wasn't moved. Gotcha, okay. That was stuck. Right. So I got, you know. So you did like kind of. Right. And, and, you know, all this other stuff. And finally I got it, got it going. Um, and then I got a whole new 
need a new needle for mm-hmm. it. Hooked it up. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Bang, bang, bang. Close. So what was the first record? Uh, Do you remember? It was Bill Bruth. There was, okay. Yes. One of a kind. Yeah. I was, I was, I was, that was it. You were, you were done. You were, I was done. You are done. Mesmerized. Yeah, I was like, yeah. but, but, but not only Sonic people, it also took me back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause I, I, I had my own stereo. I had a little Marantz, right. you know, some Sony speakers, mm-hmm. uh, a Technics turntable, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Um, and like I said, when I go in, <laughs> I go in. Right. So more, I put the word out. Nah, all this, you know, people. Eh, the guy, the guy gave me this turntable. Yeah. This, this, this set right here, turntable right. preamp yeah. and the power amp. Yeah. He gave it to me. Wow. He was like, man, I ain't using this shit. Right, right. This is just sitting there. Right. And he gave me all, also gave me a pair of speakers because the speakers are crap. So then I started like fixing stuff. Like I bought these. Restore them, like yeah, yeah. To, you know, just took them apart, put them back it, together. Yeah. Which is actually funny because that's kind of like you go way back to what you were telling me before, what your mom did. Yes, you know, kind of, and you being a little kid watching your yes, mom doing exactly. that, and it's like there's your full circle, really. Yeah, I'm telling you, know? you, man, that's yeah, yeah. me, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, this is kind of cool. I'm talking about because I gotta <laughs> really string all those things together. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, this, this is really cool. Yeah. yeah. And, and man, and that was it, man. I was, I was, I was so gung ho, man. That's awesome. You know, that's awesome. Vibrant. And now you're coll- I mean, you know, you have a huge collection. Dude, it's just man. now. Do you have it like? Yes. Alphabetized. Alphabetized. <laughs> and do you I'm, 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 do you I'm, know everything that you have? No. no okay. No. No. I'm not okay. gonna claim. I, you know. Okay. Uh, most of it I do. Right, right. You know, because, you know, some, like, I go, like, let's say I go to Goodwill, right? Right. And somebody dropped off a collection. Then I just go through the whatever, through. And especially in the back with it, only 25 cents. Right. You know, let's say I come over with a stack of 20 albums. Right. I don't always have time to go through all of them. Mm-hmm. You know, I try to listen to them. You know, the ones I, I keep, go on one side, the ones I don't. Uh, so after a while, though, you know, I don't have enough time, you know, right. which is why I think I need but another thing I want to do, I want to have, um, I'm thinking about doing this probably in the spring or summer, maybe once a month, have like, pick an artist mm-hmm. or a style yeah. or a period. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. And then only play like, let's say like, I'm like, okay, you know what, man? Hey, guys, come by next Sunday. Uh, Stevie Wonder night. Right, right. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Final. Just final Stevie Wonder. Final. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just, you know, the experience of the, the pops and clicks and just, right. it's, and it's a different sound. Yeah, it's almost just a different definitely. sound. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that's something I'm thinking about doing. Yeah, that's cool. That's about a, once a month. I, li- I like the, I like the, 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 the period or style of music or person. Right. It's, it's just different. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that doesn't mean we all got to sit like this. Right. It's no, just, but you no, know, it's somebody's just, like, no, I want to hear this one. And then, so kind of an exchange of experiences. Right. Because people, you know. We don't listen to music collectively anymore. Remember well, of when course, the boys right, right. Got, you know, got the new record. Right, right. We all sat down and checked it out. Right, right, yeah. yeah. We don't really do that anymore. Right. Excuse me. Yeah. So I would love to sort of like revive that, you mm-hmm. know, and uh, maybe like a Sunday a month. Yeah. Late Sunday afternoon, early right. evening, a yeah. couple of hours, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, it's cool because it's, you know, as, you know, as musicians, we're always so busy. Yes. That you know, having, you know, the ability to like get together is so rare. Yeah, it is. You know what I mean? So that, you know, especially, and the, and the, sadly, the, the times then musicians all do get together, unfortunately, is at funerals. Yeah. We always talk about yeah. it whenever yeah. we yeah. see each other at yeah. someone's funeral, unfortunately, yeah. 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 you know, we're like, oh man, we should do this in a, so, you know, having, you know, final parties or having, you know, it's like I, I, I get to be uh, the token drummer at the bass hang. There's mm-hmm. a bunch of bass players that get together. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they all talk about bass stuff, and I'm the token drummer. Yeah, yeah, and, you yeah, know, yeah. But it's cool but because we cool. just get yeah, to, right. like, hang out. You know right, what I mean? Right, right. Um, which, you know, as musicians, it's tough to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether yeah. we have families or, 
you know, lives. Just, period. just lives, period. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, having a vinyl night like that, man, once yeah, a month, yeah, yeah. you start building that up and start oh, yeah. getting the word out. It's Correct. like, oh, yeah, it's oh, the yeah. first oh, Sunday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. let's go to vinyl night. Yeah. You know, yeah. I wonder what style of, you know, right, right, what, right. what it is yeah, to yeah. this week, or, you, know, you know. Some suggestions or, right. or I'm like, because, you know, the majority of people that are going to come to these things are people that either grew up with vinyl or still into vinyl. So they're, or you know, music they're, lovers. Or music lovers. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're comfortable with, you know. So I, I would encourage people to like, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll even have a list. Right. A sign-up sheet, you know, yeah. and play what you like. Right, right. You know, I have the music. Or if you have it, you want to bring your own album, right, right, your own copy, exactly. that's cool. Then you just yeah. play your record. That right. kind of thing. Yeah. But going back to what you were just saying about not having, you know, not getting together. I so love, you know, at, the, at my party, right? Yeah. At one point, Everybody, all the musicians, yeah. sitting in that room. Yeah, it, it was, was great. wonderful. Man. It was. It was. I walked in, and it's like everyone's like all the musicians are just yeah, like in a yeah, circle yeah, there, yeah, and we're all just man. talking and hanging, yeah, and people walking by and saying like, "Wow, it's, it's like that's that's, yeah, that's, like, yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of cool." Yeah, yeah. there's a certain vibe that's yeah, right absolutely, there. You know absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, you know. No, it was great, man. It was yeah. it was nice. Yeah. But yeah, man. And I'm gonna continue doing stuff, man. That lamb, right. You know, no, it's great. Like, like, and I, you know, actually, uh, actually, uh, the lampshade mm -hmm. I bought at Christmas tree shop. I was with a um, good friend of mine, okay, Lori Dow, yeah, and um, you know, she, you know, she likes uh, Christmas tree shop, so we yeah. went in, and the shade sort of like matched, you know, it was all metal. All right. It was on sale. No, it's um, great. And, no, know, the lamp was awesome, man. Yeah, man. You know, no, a lot so of a lot of stuff that you know I know that you build or it's like really or refurbish, I should say. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's really great. So. And I've done work for people, you know, yeah. um, furniture yeah. and all, all that kind of stuff. That's cool, man. Yeah, man. That's cool. Awesome. It keeps me busy. Yeah. And then she got man, like the mask. Mm -hmm. I found it at the thrift store. Yeah. Now, what I did, what I did with that mask was. The thing in the back, mm -hmm. what it's attached to, yeah. the thing it's attached to, yeah. it's a fan blade. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Yeah, 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 I see it. Okay. You know what oh, I'm man. saying? Yeah, it doesn't look like it doesn't belong. It looks like that's supposed to be there. That's 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 what it's about. Yeah, yeah. Because I've always felt, you know, not always, but but for me, um, Expertise when it comes to taste, yeah, is is, is bullshit. Yeah, expertise when it comes to quality. Yeah, now that you know, yeah. I don't have a problem. But when it comes to actual taste, the things we like, yeah, well, well, we're all we, different. We're all different. That's the whole point. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. So it's I the always, reason why certain people like certain things and others like others. Yeah, most definitely. You know, as long as you have a certain, as long as you have a vision, as long as, long as you know what you like, really. right. And and somebody not everybody's gonna like what you like, and that's fine. Right. I think that's wonderful. You know, so I've I've always sort of like because if you think about it, man, you know, we're all the human experience is pretty similar, right? Globally, yeah. And it just we just express it differently, right? You know what I mean? And um, so something that may work there, or that works there, could also work here. Right. It's just a matter of finding the right combination of things. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Well, I, man, I, I think that, you know, all the stuff that you're doing is great. And I love the refurbished. I love my shoes, by the way. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Big, big plug for Daniel and the shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if y'all want to <clears throat> get up on your shoes, yeah, go, go hit up Daniel for sure. Mm -hmm. So, well, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. You got it, bro. Yeah, you man. Got it, man. You know, yeah. this was fun. Yeah, good. I actually enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, you got the you got the connection. And yeah, stuff, that's right. So. That's right. Yeah. It's sometimes you need to talk things through. Exactly. Or express them in a way. You know. Exactly. So, all right, cool. Yeah, well, this is uh, yeah. this has been uh, Beyond the Music uh, with Daniel Day, and uh, catch you all next time. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. All right. All right.